it's that ask me here and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a fully automatic sugarcane farm and that means no harvesting whatsoever so um, it auto harvests once it grows which is using neat technology that I'm I came up with this design on my own but I'm not sure if anyone else has has thought about it so here are pretty much the base items you'll need doesn't have to be sandstone and you don't really need sticky pistons um, and you'll also need sugar canes as well <laughs> pretty much so why don't we start with the bud switch part after we cover this part up because you can cover this up it's better Oop. okay and then pistons lots of pistons so what, what you're going to do for the bud switch part is go over to an area, dig six down, oh. just going to dig out a six by, or no, not a six by, whatever, a four by three it's preferably better with a four by four and I think we might need a four by four and dig six down from it now you can make this above ground as well but I like to do it underground so first what you're gonna do is do this put some sand here actually make that dirt and put a piston three blocks up and block to the side of that Block under, um, block right here, and there. So, redstone, redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone. Two ticks, two ticks, and a redstone torch. And eat some sand there. Must be reset. Um... Can't really see. Is that on two ticks? Yeah, it's on two ticks. Um. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Gotta shift this up one. Everything needs to go up by one. There we go. And then piston can go where it normally is. And our sand. Get out of here. There we go. Just gotta move that guy out. Two ticks. Get off. Two ticks. Redstone. There we go. And a redstone tor or would be preferably preferred up there. So as you can see, bud switch. And it's upward firing. So um now we're just gonna put our sugar canes here, which we can do last. And I'm not going to teach you guys how to make the other bud switch way. One there. And get out of here. Okay. And I should have mentioned that it's better if you make it at night. And you have to follow this pattern or the redstone will trigger that for no apparent reason. I'm not sure why it does that, but it, it just does. So, here we go. There we go. So that way, once it grows up to three, it'll push that. Alright, so that's our working bud switch. And then what we gotta do for this part is wire it over. And you can conceal this to make it hidden underground as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. Oh. Um, 
should reach all the way over. Yeah, and then and then from here you're just gonna try and trigger every single one. So we'll we'll just trigger fifteen for now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh that stinks. One piston left. Okay. And then we're gonna place our sugar cane. Which should grow faster than the one in the butt switch. Okay, so there we go. Now, once this is fully grown to three, it'll push all of them off, and you don't need to do a single thing. And uh, this piston, since the butt switch gets triggered, and it pushes, or yeah, since when it grows to its third state, the butt switch gets triggered, which also powers this to push it back to its first state. And the other ones get pushed as well. So, that's the tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Zen Ask Me. Um,